Welcome to the newly overhauled Bridge Winners. This video will guide you through a few of the changes we've made and show you how to find the features you know and love, and maybe even discover some that you didn't even know existed. Last August, we launched a specialized interface for posting and responding to bidding problems. Everyone liked the ability to get quick feedback on tough hands, but the bidding problems started to consume the majority of the article feed. Many of you told us this made the site hard to use when you were looking for articles to read, and we agree. The bidding problems have moved into their own module on the right-hand side of the page. As soon as you go to Bridge Winners, you will see a randomly chosen problem that you haven't answered yet, unless there aren't any, in which case you might be spending too much time answering bridge problems. Let's see, on this one, I don't think I've tortured partner enough, so I think I'll bid five hearts. You can cast your vote right from the front page, and as soon as you do, a new problem will immediately slide into place. Below the bridge problems, you'll see your recent voting history, with the vote we just cast highlighted at the top. You can click on the cards here to see the discussion about the hand. The percentage on the right tells you the number of poll respondents who agreed with your choice. I guess five hearts wasn't the field's choice. It looks like I went with the herd on this three no trump bid. I can click on the number to see who bid like me, assuming both I and they voted publicly. The bridge problem module has a few additional features. You can use the comment icon to go directly to the discussion without even voting. If you don't want to answer the problem right now, you can always just get another one without voting. Of course, the familiar abstain option is available as well. Finally, if you miss the never-ending list of bridge problems, you can still get them all by using the see all button. Here we are at the list of all bridge problems. In addition to bidding problems, you can now ask lead problems as well. These function very similarly to bidding problems, except you're always on lead at trick one and have to pick a card. I'm a pretty old-fashioned bridge player, so I'm going to lead fourth best from my longest and strongest against this auction. And there you go. My lead is recorded. And just like any other poll, I can change my lead at any time if I change my mind. The old post a new poll and post a new article buttons have moved into the create menu available at the top of every page. As we expand the types of bridge content that users can create on our site, this menu will grow with us. Right now you can see there are four types of content you can create bidding problems and lead problems, as well as general multi-purpose polls and regular bridge articles. The interface for creating content hasn't changed, so if you were a regular contributor to the site before, this process should feel familiar. The bouncing accordion article preview is gone. I'm sure it seemed like a good idea when we first made it, but I don't think anyone ever liked it and we got tons of complaints about having to click twice to read something. Just click on the article title to go straight to the content you want to read. You can also click on the comment count to be taken directly to that article's discussion thread. For polls, if you've already voted publicly, you can click on the vote count to see how everyone else voted. In the article view, you'll find a much cleaner presentation with almost all the display dedicated to information about the article, its author, and any featured series or tournament the article might happen to be part of. For content authors, the area on the right is also where you'll find controls to publish, edit, or discard your draft work. We've also added a print view in case you want to put Polly's articles up on your wall. From anywhere on the site, you may always click the Bridge Winners logo in the upper left corner to return to the site's main page.
Quick access to the Bridge Winner store has been moved into the Shop menu. If you've never used it before, the store is definitely worth a browse. We have electronic versions of many popular bridge books. You can buy them and start reading on your computer, or tablet, or smartphone in just seconds. All actions that are specific to you are contained in this upper right hand box. Clicking on your name will bring up a short list of actions, such as editing or viewing your site profile, modifying your bridge winner's preferences, or getting to your message inbox or convention cards. One of the most common complaints we got about the old site was that the Alert Center quickly outgrew its usefulness as our users started to follow more and more people. Clogging up the limited amount of space with lots of voting and commenting activity made it hard to find the really interesting content that you want. In our new site, the Alert Center is gone and replaced with two new areas that serve very different purposes. On the right, you'll see the activity stream. If you're logged in, these activities are related to things you're following or subscribed to, either actions by people you care about or actions taken on content that you might care about, like votes. The activity stream is organized chronologically, with newer events appearing at the top, and you can continue to scroll to the bottom to get even more. In the upper right, you'll see an alert card. This card brings down a menu containing your most important notifications. Activity that goes in this menu is things like comments on content you created, or new articles published by people you are following. This way, you can quickly sort out the site activity that you really want to know about from the site activity you might browse when you're curious what people are up to. Whenever new important activity has happened since you last opened up this menu, a red New Alert Counter will appear over the card. You can also get to a complete list of all your important alerts from this menu. Sending private messages on bridge winners is a great way for members of the bridge community to contact each other without revealing personal email addresses. We've made your most recently received unread messages available at the top of every page, along with a quick way to compose a new message and a link to get to the full messaging application. Of course, it wouldn't be bridge winners without an accordion interface, so you can actually read your mail right here in the menu. Oh, that's sweet. The Bridgewinners Convention Card Editor remains one of our most popular features, so we've made your list of convention cards available from every page on the site in this menu in the upper right corner of the page. From here, you can edit or print your convention cards, or you can click Manage All to go to the familiar convention card application, where you can share cards with your partners for collaborative editing or print-only viewing. The final button you'll see in the upper right is a little address book. This takes you to what used to be the People application. Currently, this is a way to see everyone who's following you, or who you're following, and a starting point to find popular people on the site if you're new and need help finding users to follow. This list is the top 50 most followed people on the site, a list I'm proud to be part of, although I really do need to find a way to pass Daniel Levy. This is an area of our site where I expect users will see the most improvements in the coming year as we start to look for new ways to connect people, find partners, play games, manage contact information, and enjoy Bridge together as a community. Many of the changes that we're releasing today are a direct result of feedback from our users. As with anything brand new, there are bound to be some bumps in the road, so we need you to keep it coming. In the Help menu, you'll find a feedback form where you can leave suggestions, report things that are broken, or even just tell us how much you like bridge winners. We love getting those.
We hope the new site design makes Bridge Winners an even better place to learn about and discuss Bridge, and to connect with other people who share our love for the game.